Gene stealers are tyrannid organisms that infiltrate a planet and alter the genes of the inhabitants. This compels these victims to form a cult worshipping the gene stealer, which becomes their patriarch. While this may sound far-fetched, most people are not aware that we on Earth are already living with a gene stealer patriarch that has infiltrated our society. My name is Trevor and let's take a look at the facts that prove that Santa Claus is indeed a gene stealer patriarch. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. First of all is his age. Conservative estimates place Santa Claus at at least 1,750 years of age. How the f*** is this guy still alive? Is it cause, oh, he's magic? No, it's not. It's because he's a millennia old alien come to take over the planet. Next up, how the f*** does he fit down a chimney? Chimneys come in two standard sizes, 60 cm or 90 cm. You're telling me that this jolly bastard can fit into a space that size? There's no fucking way. You know who is good at fitting into small spaces? Gene stealers. How does he fit inside? Is it because he spent a thousand years crawling around the vents of a spaceship floating through the warp? He's a fucking gene stealer. Alright, milk and cookies. Why do you need to leave milk and cookies out for Santa Claus? What, do you have to appease him or something? What are you afraid he's gonna eat if you don't leave out the milk and cookies? Are you scared he's gonna eat your children? Well, you should be because that's exactly the kind of thing a gene stealer patriarch would do. Also, roughly two billion people around the world celebrate Christmas every year. If we split that into households of five, we have 400 million households. And if we say roughly half those households leave out milk and cookies, that's 200 million sets of milk and cookies for Santa Claus to eat. Now, I don't care how fat Santa Claus is, there's no way he's eating that many cookies. But guess who has an unending appetite and is literally bioengineered to eat its entire life? That's right, it's a f***ing gene stealer. Next up, the nice and naughty list. Why the f*** does a hermit living in the f***ing North Pole care if children are good or bad. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to get children to be more compliant so that when his Tyranid invasion fleet arrives from the stars, they're just gonna give themselves up. Also, how does Santa Claus know what presents children want? Does he just read their minds? Oh f you know who can read minds? A gene stealer patriarch. Finally, the most damning piece of evidence, the elves. You're telling me that Santa Claus has an entire colony of mutants living underground in a frozen wasteland, slaving away for him for their entire lives? You know what that is? That's a cult. A gene stealer cult. So there you go. I think the facts speak for themselves. Do not trust Santa Claus. He's not what he seems. If you thought this information was helpful to you, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to help me in the fight against Santa Claus, please support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash And remember, if you hear someone crawling down your chimney on Christmas Eve, it's time to run.